Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to check the browsing history on your iPhone. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now I'm gonna walk you through two different options you have. One is if you use Safari, and the other one is if you use Google Chrome. So let's first just open up the Safari app here. And if you wanted to go back in time to see the history, you can tap on the little book icon at the very bottom right here. You'll see it pops up with reading lists, your favorites, but at the top right is a little clock. If I tap on it, it shows my history. So you can see here, I searched for USPS was the most recent. If I wanted to remove anything on here, I can just tap edit at the bottom left. I can select a few of these and then just hit delete. Or of course I can just remove all of them if I wanted to as well. So that's how you check it in Safari. In Google Chrome, let's open up that app. And let's tap on those three dots at the bottom right. At the very top here, you're gonna look for history. So if you don't see it, you may need to scroll all the way over. But there is history, so we'll just tap on it to open it up. Again, same as Safari, you can hit clear browsing data at the very bottom left. And you can choose the time range, the browsing history, cookies, cache, all that stuff. And let's just hit clear browsing data at the very bottom. And that will remove all of it. Now to remove everything from Safari, the easiest way is just to do it into your settings. So let's go into settings and we'll just scroll down until we get to Safari and tap on that. And again, scroll down and you can see clear history and website data right here. I can choose whether I want to basically clear it for today, today and yesterday, all time. Let's just do all history here. And I want to close all of my tabs here. No, let's not close all the tabs. And then I want to close for all profiles. Now you just hit the red clear history button at the very bottom. Keep in mind, if you have your iOS or iCloud synced up with Safari, this will also wipe it out for your computer, for your iPad, for everything that is logged in and synced up with Safari. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.